What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a little tip of the news and information for you guys to check out in this video. My goodness, it has been a crazy past 48 hours in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community because it seems like Konami is just dropping bombs left and right. They have revealed so much information over the past couple of days, whether it be some of the cards from the Link Frames Pack 3, and we still have a Link Frames 3 live stream that's going to be happening tomorrow, or the announcement of the Premium Pack 20. You got some anime goodness in there. You also had reveals, uh, more new cards from the Rebirth of Shadow Structure deck, which should be happening, I believe, after the Warrior Structure deck for us in the TCG. Konami's been dropping a lot of information. I think maybe a lot of it has to do with <laughs> them maybe trying to counter Pokemon Sword and Shield, which comes out <laughs> this week. They know that people are going to be excited for that. So they're like, yo, we got to give the Yu-Gi-Oh! community something. Otherwise, they're going to spend their entire weeks playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. But to me, this is by far the hypest thing Konami has announced over the past couple of days, guys. It is official. It's confirmed. It is 100% real and happening. We are getting a Sacred B structure deck. Konami just gave us the name it is structure deck sacred beast of chaos and we have an official release date at least for the ocg you guys know that it can be a little funny with the tcg assuming that this doesn't get delayed we should have this for the nawcq and national season next year for like in, in time for like euros and stuff like that because it is going to be released march 20 uh 2020 in the ocg and these structure decks have generally been about three months later in the tcg now the one thing is this will 100 or i can't say 100 but 99 percent likely this is going to be the the last structure deck of the Vrains era. And this is so cool because you guys know it all goes back to the 20 archetype voting that Konami had earlier this year. I did a few videos on this. I was following the poll very, very closely. I voted for Crystal Beast, as I said multiple times in other videos. And here's what I think happened. I think that Konami hosted this poll on their website. They just wanted to have a little bit of fan interaction. And what I think happened is they got way more, they, like they got a way bigger response than they could have ever imagined. I mean, this poll had thousands upon thousands of votes and i think just like me konami was probably shocked by some of the results i mean i said when the 20 archetypes were revealed like i didn't think an archetype like charmers had a snowball chance in hell and then after the preliminary voting it was in the top five and i was like oh shit i guess i guess i look dumb so i think konami was probably taken aback by how many people actually participated in this and then they were like you know what let's give these people what they want like let's give them what they're actually clamoring for what these people will spend their money on and to me this is a very smart business decision i think sacred beast do have a good amount of fans and i really want to see a sacred beast um you know structure deck they obviously were not that good when they were released during the gx era i want to say shadow of infinity i think that raviel was like the cover card of that set but i would definitely love to see three new boss monsters for this deck fallen paradise is still a very strong card lets you draw too and it can still do some things but they also need more like actual monsters they only have like a couple of monsters monsters in the archetype so i'm really waiting to see what konami will do with this and i feel like it is definitely deserved also we have a new deck building pack that was just revealed this is called secret slayers and this should be also the last deck building set of the Vrains era now we don't exactly have any um information as far as what archetypes are going to appear but this is my best guess or at least what i would hope would happen i really hope konami puts a bunch of the Vrains anime archetypes in here because if you guys don't watch the yu of Reigns anime there are still a lot of archetypes from that show that have not been imported into the physical card game archetypes like storm riders or blood shepherds drones there are so many of them a lot of them played by villains that we haven't gotten and there's really only one more core booster set for the Vrains era after ignition assault that would be eternity code and it's like how many you know how many archetypes can you really put in a set usually you have legacy support and all that other stuff you got filler cards so i'm not sure konami can fit it all in one set and from what i've heard attic nister still has more cards and you would imagine that eyes link six is going to be the cover card of that set so attic nister will probably have all of their cards in there so i'm not sure that they're you know going to have enough room i feel like they're going to have to use maybe this uh deck building set 
if they want to give us a majority of the anime archetypes so maybe this will end up being something like wing raiders or high speed riders because those had anime character archetypes uh in them and they were even like you know kind of like the uh the the, the real selling points of those sets anyways whatever you guys think of this information are you excited about sacred beast getting a structure deck whatever you guys feel leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos